What is up guys? Today, we're gonna talk about how to save your bottoms when your glaze drips everywhere. So welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. We make videos about pottery, my life, small business, everything going on. So I wanna show you guys how to save these pots because this Wednesday, we have a restock of a bunch of sweet pots going up. And for the first time ever, we're gonna offer some discounted like second sale. So a second in pottery is when you have a piece that comes out that's not perfect, uh, but you still wanna sell it and you can sell it for a discounted rate. So before we are able to sell all these pots, so all these mugs came out of the kiln the other day, right? And they all dripped. They all dripped all over the place. And it's just the price you pay sometimes when you are experimenting and you're, you want to like get sweet drip glazes going. But unfortunately, I don't feel like I can sell these pots for the normal price that I would sell them for, but I can grind them down and get them pretty close to perfect. Like you can see, for example, this pot had a glaze that dripped totally off the pot. And then I took some of the grinding tools and went after it and it's better, but it's still not perfect. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of three different tools and ways that I can do this, all right? The first way is with these grinding pads from Diamond Core Tools. So basically you get these grinding pads, you throw them on a bat, you put them on the wheel, and then you use water and then you can flatten the bottom. So this works really well for that. The only problem is it's not great at getting a lot of glaze off like this. And it also doesn't work well if you have handles because you can't like get the pot low enough. Second way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get a tool, I'll be right back. The second way, and this one is really new for me, um, is to use like a Dremel tool with a diamond bit. So these bits are from also from Diamond Core Tools. And I have one's coarse grind, one's fine. So basically you just turn this on and then you start grinding around the edge. And this is better for like more fine tune adjustments. Like the, the grinding pad is great, flattening the bottoms and getting like a little pieces off the bottom. But if you wanna make really fine adjustments or just really like more meticulous changes, then the Dremel tool is definitely the way to go. The last tool that you can use, which is what I used forever, is this bench, like a bench grinder like this. So basically this is a wheel that spins and then you can take the pieces and just kind of, as it's spinning, you can be like And I use this forever in my old studio. Uh, and there's some safety hazards with this. Like basically when you're grinding, you're just kicking up like a bunch of silica dust and like grind, which is not good for your lungs. So there are definitely some safety precautions that you wanna take uh, when doing this. You should put some safety goggles on. You should have a mask. Might be tough to find a mask these days like this, but. And glaze can also be very sharp. So if you have gloves, we should be good to go. Let's do it. This is gonna take a little bit of work, but I think it'll be worth it. So normally when, when I'm selling mugs for anywhere between like 50 and $70, these mugs will probably be on the Etsy restock for like around half that. So, so if you wanna check them out, I'd very much appreciate it. The first one that we're gonna do, since it's not, this one didn't drip that bad, it just kinda dripped right there. So we're gonna use this grinding pad to just flatten the bottom and then to just kinda smooth out that edge a little bit. So you just get that diamond core thing wet. So see that after about 10 seconds, we've already gotten it pretty close to smooth. And using a combination of all these tools and methods is one way you can really like get it to be as close as you want it to be. Like I already even took a little bit, almost too much off. So there's that. So the mug is totally perfect. The, the bottom is nice and flat and smooth. Uh, but I still am gonna sell these for discounted prices, so. Boom, okay, so. As much as you can, if you can grind outside, that helps a lot. You don't want all that stuff like flying all over your studio or inside. It's actually kind of nice out here right now. So I'm gonna put my mask on. There 
there we go. So not perfect, but still a very functional cup. What do you guys think? Do you buy this? So honestly, can you understand me when I talk like this? So honestly, having an array of tools, like for a while this bench grinder was the only thing I had and that's how I pretty much ground down everything. But now having the diamond bits and the diamond pads, I think having a combination, like I'm gonna use this video to kind of test out what I think. But right now I think that the bench grinder probably gets it down the quickest. Uh, and then the Dremel tool is definitely more for like refining. And then the pad is great for flattening, making sure it's flat, and then also some refinements as well. So they all are good, they all work. I'd say I'm just gonna use a combination of them for all this, and then we're gonna get them looking as fine as possible. All right, well, it turns out an hour straight of Dremel tool will we'll, uh, run the battery out. So battery's dead on the Dremel tool, but we got most everything done. Once we're done with that, we're gonna start just taking pictures of stuff so that you guys can see what's gonna be for sale. And then, uh, and then we'll be done. All right, friends. So we got them all ground down. We got them all photographed and yeah. So these are all going up for sale if you wanna get a discounted pot. I've never done discounted pots. Uh, online before and they these are some sweet ones so got some special ones and basically they'll just be discounted probably around half the normal price um, some of them are still pretty perfect like the bottoms of these are like they're they're not bad at all so they'll just be discounted based on you know what kind of pot it is how bad the bottom is but like some of these you know I've never had any of this glaze for sale and it is awesome but unfortunately it was really hard on the bottoms so well I wanted to thank you guys for stopping along watching this video. If you've been here since the beginning of John the Potter, you know that I used to get on my bike and ride my bike while I was talking all the time because my studio used to be at the coffee shop, right? So I would get on my bike, ride to the coffee shop. I'd like talk to the camera while I was riding my bike there. And I haven't really done that in a while, mostly because it's been winter. But now the weather is amazing. It's summer or it's gonna be summer in Minnesota. So now we're gonna be riding the bike. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, like, share, comment, all the things. We'll see you guys in the next video. It's amazing what the little sunshine does, a little outdoor time does for your, your mental state. All right, if you can, get outside today and make some pots. Those are separate things. You don't have to go outside and make pots. I'm saying, you know, go outside and then make pots. Never mind. See you guys in the next video. <laughs> Believe it or not, there was actually snow on the ground this morning. I wish I had a video of it, but I swear, I swear to you, there was snow on the ground this morning. But now it's like 50 degrees and super nice. Okay. Oh, I went down the hill, now I went back up. Alright, bye.